This is Daniel Gafilm for each sleep box and repeat. We're here at the Ben Van Heerden press conference. I'm delighted to be joined by the WBC Super Featherweight Champion, Alicia Baumgartner. Alicia, you're back in the UK, first time in Manchester? First time in Manchester, but not the first time in the UK. We know that, we know that. We all know what happened last time you were here. Obviously, that stunning knockout win over Terry Harper. Um, so this is obviously your first defence, and you're sort of, in a sense, the home fighter here. I know you're obviously not from the UK, but you know, you're know you with Masham, you're with Eddie now. Does it feel any different to coming over and trying to rip the belt off Terry? Um, you know, again, it, it feels like home. It feels, it feels natural. It feels like I belong here, and so I know come Saturday night I got one job and that's to get the win. Uh, the fight was announced quite late, it was only uh, a couple of weeks ago that you sort of found out you'd be in this card. Uh, how, how did that come about and you, I mean, you obviously have a consummate professional, you stay in shape but um, you didn't have any doubts about jumping in there with Matisse in such short notice? Yeah, you know as Eddie mentioned we weren't able to, to take the March 5th fight so I just stayed in the gym till then and you know we got the phone call and again as a champion I prepare, I'm always prepared and um, we said yeah. So yes to the fight. Yeah, I alluded there to obviously you're in there with Edith Matisse. She's been about a long time, uh, 17 and 11, I think, but she's never been stopped. So obviously, we all saw how hard you can punch. Um, is that obviously? The, I know you're not going to force the knockout, but it'd be an, an amazing statement if you could stop Matisse in there on Saturday night. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm all for making statements, and I believe that stopping her will again say who Alicia is and what she's about. Uh, I'm sure you're sick of being asked, but I have to ask you about Michaela Meyer. Um, the back and forth, as Eddie set up there, has been very entertaining. She fought just at the weekend past there against Jennifer Han. Uh, did you watch it? Nope, I wasn't able to watch it. You didn't watch it? Um, I assume you did just because of the verbals. So is that is that a fight that you'll be looking to do next? But I think I've seen you say that um, you're sort of hoping to to pick up another belt so the fight can be fought undisputed. Uh, is that the plan? Yeah, that's absolutely the plan. I think it makes sense, right? I think it makes sense to fight Choi, grab her title, and then slowly start promoting the fight with Mayer and I. Uh, it's obviously well documented. Women's boxing is absolutely booming. Um, you spoke there about uh, Taylor Serrano up there. Um, there's a fight that's brewing probably a bit more over here than it is in America, but the Clarissa Shields Savannah Marshall fight. Have you been following that sort of beef recently? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, Clarissa is, in, is from the back of where I'm from so yeah big fight big fight for women's boxing uh, and obviously if we could get uh, yourself and Michaela announced that would sort of be like a trilogy of absolutely uh, mega fights uh, for female boxing it's sort of just incredible how far it's come and seemingly a short space of time I know you've obviously probably been working a lot harder than that but it does seem that this sort of explosions just happened like really in the last sort of couple of years yeah absolutely women's boxing is growing the progression is is great and you know thanks to Eddie Hearn again for kind of setting that platform um, for the women fighters and again also for me. Yeah, I would echo that Michaela. That'll be all, that'll be, sorry, Alicia that'll be all for me. Thanks very much for giving us your time. No problem. Thank you for having me.